understanding, buck up, an English phrase explained. Hello, dear viewers, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a special episode for all of you who are keen to expand your English vocabulary and understand the nuances of English phrases. We will be diving into the phrase, buck up, what it means, how to use it, and some examples to help you grasp it better. So, let's get started. The phrase, buck up, is an informal way of telling someone to cheer up, be brave, or pull themselves together. It is often used when someone seems down, disheartened, or in need of a little motivation. Essentially, it's a way of offering support and encouraging someone to stay positive and strong in a challenging situation. The origins of buck up are a bit unclear, but it is believed to have originated from the British military in the 19th century. It might have been derived from the Old English word, buck, meaning to make a sudden movement, or spring up. Over time, it has evolved to become a common phrase used in everyday English to encourage and motivate. Using buck up is quite straightforward. It's used in informal settings and usually directed towards someone you know well, like a friend or family member. Here's an example. Imagine your friend is feeling sad about not doing well in an exam. You could say, come on, buck up. You'll do better next time. In this scenario, you're telling your friend to not be disheartened and to stay positive about the future. There are a few variations of buck up such as buck up your ideas this means to start thinking more positively or more carefully about something buck up your courage this means to gather your courage or bravery to face something each of these variations adds a slight twist to the original meaning providing more specific advice that's it for today's episode on the phrase buck up we hope this has helped clarify its meaning, usage, and origins for you. Remember, language is a powerful tool, and understanding these nuances can really help in expressing yourself more clearly and supporting others. Until next time, keep learning and stay positive.